students welcome back to Apple Bay Academy's classes so in this video we are going to discuss about important motivation theory which is McGregor's theory X and Y so when you're considering about motivation theories you, you can see that it's a very important area under human resource management okay so most of the time they are asking questions from different uh, motivation theories either it can be Hesburgh uh, two-factor theory or master's need hierarchy theory so our ld first ERG theory so uh, most of these theories are very important anyway in this video we are concentrating upon McGregor's theory x and y so uh, when you're just going through the question on december 2022 shift to you can see this question which is related to McGregor's theory and you need to identify which is not an assumption under McGregor's theory y Okay, so this question is uh, specified under the second theory that is McGregor's theory Y. So both these theories are important. Anyway, we will just have a look on both these theories, theory X and theory Y. Anyway, uh, theory X and theory Y, both these are proposed by McGregor. And when you're just considering these, the uh, these two theories, they are the theories of human work motivation and management. So it is saying about the, the effort or the or how you can actually motivate the employees. So uh, uh, both these theory, theory X and theory Y, both these have different uh, attitude. Like, like theory X is actually based on a pessimistic view of workers because theory X says that workers are very, um, they are not at all interested to do work. Okay, they are not at all creative people. So in that situation, we will apply theory X. And theory Y is a situation where we have a pessimistic approach to the workers or employees where they are uh, really interested to do a lot of work. So that point is very important. Theory, works is, theory X is applied on pessimistic view of employees' nature and behavior. And theory Y is on optimistic view. Now, when you're just considering this theory X, so theory X is based on the assumption that the employees emphasize on uh, physiological needs and safety needs. So they give more priority to their physiological and safety needs. That is basic needs and uh, safety security needs. They give more importance. Such type of uh, employees give more importance to these two types of needs. But when you are comparing to uh, theory Y, see here they are giving more importance to social needs or they are the people they are trying to uh, achieve something. Okay, they are making uh, or they are just want to achieve themselves or they want to just improve their career such people are coming under theory y so anyway we'll start with theory x so theory x believes that employees are naturally unmotivated and dislike working and this encourages an authoritarian style of management so as we already discussed that there is a pessimistic view so here the workers are considered to be um, or they are not at all interested to do work so uh, such people or such workers need an authoritarian style, then only they will do work. That means some uh, management or the top executive should give them orders. Okay, It is not at all necessary that they should be involved in decision making or such criteria because they are not at all interested to do anything. Okay, If we force them, then only they will do works properly. That's why there is an authoritarian style is needed. Uh, we are not at all uh, giving focus to any participative style or something. Here we will completely focusing on an authoritative style of management as these workers are generally not at all interested to do work. Okay, so according to this theory, management must firmly intervene to get things done. So if they want these workers to do things, they have to force them, they have to analyze them, they have to guide them, everything is very important. So according to this uh, style of management, here, we, when you are just saying about the workers under theory X, you can see that they disfavor work. Such workers need to be controlled, they need to be forced and they need to be warned. Okay, then only they, we are able to get better results from these workers. And they should be supervised. Okay, supervision is very important. So, the degree of supervision will be very high in case of the, these workers. Okay, then only they will uh, give their maximum output to, for the company. So they require to be attracted to produce result else they have no ambition or incentive to work. So we should uh, give them some target then only they will work otherwise because they have no such aim or they are not at all concentrated on some targeted goals. So it is compulsory or it is important for the management 
to give them some standards so that only they will work hard to achieve that and for working hard we need to uh, make a high degree of supervision and we need to monitor them we need to analyze them okay we need to guide them everything is very important anyway theory x is actually dealing with the workers or uh, it's actually showing a pessimistic view on workers and they really not interested to do work so that we are applying an authoritarian style of management etc considering to or coming to theory y an opposite view which is related to theory x is depicted in theory y so here we have an optimistic view like here the workers are really uh, they are enjoying or uh, they are really uh, acceptable to do any work or they uh, they are actually interested in contributing something to that particular uh, firm or company so they, they are this uh, the type of workers which actually a company needs okay there are some self uh, motivated employees or they are creative employees like away so here we can actually apply apply which type of uh, management style see here as these people are creative it is very important that we should have a participative style of management because when we are accepting their um, thoughts or when we are accepting their contributions they will be motivated okay 
okay because they uh, they really want some appreciation or recognition from the part of management so such kinds of people should be included in a decision making and also that's why we in this case we are using a participative style of management so they are self motivated creative and enjoy working with the great responsibilities so these kinds of uh, employees will take responsibility and they always try hard or work hard and also they want to contribute something to that organization they will have a, a motive okay they will concentrate more on the objectives they will give more importance also to their own uh, self achievements everything will be there okay so in white type of organization people at the lower level are engaged in decision making and have more responsibility so here even they are at the lower level of management they will be included in decision making because they are creative people and they always tries to do better okay so when you are just considering this magrigus uh, view on this theory x and theory y so according to him he give more importance to theory y or he considered which is valid comparing to theory x okay so this is uh, these are the basic things which you need to note under magrigus theory x and theory y okay with that it's very easy for you to answer this question i will just read it again which one of the following is not an assumption under magrigus theory y so before going to read these options what is magrigus theory y see magrigus theory y is actually showing an optimistic view towards the workers they are creative people they are uh, they are those workers they are actually interested to take responsibilities work hardly right so based on that it is very easy for you to answer uh, or identify the correct option from the given situation okay so we'll read the first option the degree of commitment to objective is in proportion to the size of the rewards is associated with their achievement see the the commitment that they are actually showing to this particular uh, concern is actually something related to they are actually expecting some rewards that's why they we are saying that they are motivated uh, workers so they are expecting something uh, from the like when you are just giving um, a bonus for the workers see they are actually interested to do work because that's their aim they want to achieve that okay so here the degree of commitment to objectives is in proportion to the size of row, how much they are getting but if it is a case of theory x because they are not at all interested in anything they just don't want anything so uh, if it's a case of theory x you can eliminate that option but when you are it is relating to theory y you can see that it's correct they need that's why we we are motivating people so a is correct b under the condition of modern industrial life the intellectual potentiality of the average human being are only partially utilized so uh, this theory is saying that still we need to achieve something more from these workers okay that's why we are giving more opportunities or that's why we are uh, including them uh, in decision making then only we are able to achieve more from these employees that's that's why we are just following a participative uh, management style okay in that way you can say that that is also correct external control and threat of punishment are only means for producing effort towards organizational objective so if you want to get a uh, uh, maximum output from these employees you need to uh, give them an external control and also you need to give a uh, threat of punishment is that necessary in case of uh, theory y see here the people are interested to do works okay so the only way to attract them or the only way to motivate them is giving some uh, motivation um, like it can be a monetary or non monetary benefits right right so there is no need for any threat uh, because they are actually interested to do work but if it is case of theory x really you need a threat of punishment or you need some uh, high degree of control is actually needed so c can't be relate uh, with theory y but if it is related to theory x you can actually connect so c is not at all coming under magrigus theory y if it is related to x you can actually use it then average human beings learn under proper condition not only accept responsibility but also seeks it as we already discussed that these kinds of uh, workers that means the workers coming under or the as we discussed in theory why they are actually interested to take responsibility right so in that sense these also correct c is actually saying about theory x okay so you need to identify which is not an assumption 
So which will be the correct answer? Option C, external control and threat of punishment are the only means for producing efforts towards organization objective. It can be right in case of theory X, but you can't relate it to theory Y. So correct answer for this question is option C. So in this video, we mainly discussed about McGregor's theory X and Y. Both these theories are important. Not only this motivational theories, uh, all of the motivational theories are very important as we already discussed about various motivation theories uh, and which is available in Appleby Academy's YouTube channel. You can check it and you need to have a thorough uh, idea regards to all these motivation theories and you can actually expect a question from this particular area. So I hope this video will help you for your preparation. Thank you and happy learning.